All right, guys, I am trying out Buckin's little baby C. And uh, what I'm doing it with is a 3 8 low profile uh, setup. So hopefully you can see this well. I don't know. But uh, I'm not doing anything but using it the same way that I would just a regular 3 8 file. Um, but this, this chain was rocked. You can see, look at... Look at that one right there, how nasty that is. So I figured if I'm gonna ruin a chain, might as well do it on this one. But it's it's doing really well. Let's see if I can see my mark. This is a steel RS chain, but I think it's a pretty old one. The angle's off real bad on this, so we gotta fix that. But all I'm doing is coming in here, doing it like I normally would. And it's working, you know, it's working great. It's a lot easier to push this smaller file than it is the regular, regular file. And one of the things that a lot of times people like Buckin, who's like really good at this kind of stuff, you know, sharpening a chain, <laughs> done it for years and years and years. He doesn't even think to tell you a lot of times. Sometimes he does. He doesn't even think to tell you if you're not shedding shavings with every stroke, then your file needs to be changed. It took me a long time to learn that. I was digging in really hard, going, man, this chain is really hardened. I can't, I can't do anything with it. And I was just like pushing, digging, digging, digging. Well, the files, they go bad. And the reason you do that is to knock some of the shavings out of the file. It'll hold them. This one's about done. A couple more little strokes. Real smooth. I'm going easy here at the final strokes because I want it to be nice and smooth. And I think we're good on that one. Now let's go to this one. This one's nice and rocked. So I put my file on there. This, this part right here uh, gives me the angle. It'll happen, give it time. See it's starting to come up there? I hope you guys can see it. There we go. See that? Bink. All right, so that's all. I've gotten all my teeth, all my cutters, and now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit all the rakers. I took those a lot of meat out of the teeth, so my guess is I'm gonna to have to take a lot on the rakers. That's gonna take forever. And I don't know anything else besides just set it up like a regular 3 8 Um Yeah, I think I'll call that good. I don't know. Come on. Yeah. Moving on. Get that. Yeah, I got that.
Damn, that's hard. There we go. All right. So I'll finish this up and then we'll get to it. I don't even know if this saw is going to run, actually. Uh, this is the Red Max 621 that I've been messing with. So, But if I can't get this one to run, I'll definitely um, put this on a different uh, chainsaw and give it a shot. run like that all day long. Pulling uh, about 12,000 uh, free spin like that. Okay, so I'm back. Now the bar is a 20 inch bar this time because that's uh, the bar that came with this saw that I used uh, to make the baby C. It's an 18 inch and all my 3 8 bars are bigger than 18 inch. So you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. I don't feel like breaking down a chain. This right here is a Husqvarna C83. Um, let's see how. It compares. You can get that idle up. Finally got a good clean cut there. <laughs> the chips are definitely bigger on this than they were on the Baby C. Um, and you can definitely feel that it's more of a load on the saw. That Baby C is feeling a lot more in line with, uh, with a 325 chain. Um, so yeah, so I don't know which one's faster. And don't get me wrong. I have not perfected that baby C chain yet. Hell, even Bucking hasn't, you know. We're just playing. We're just having fun. We're just looking at a different way. I, that's it. There's nothing more to that. The, another thing that's really kind of not fair is, without question, if you question it, this is your problem, not fact. The C83 is the fastest chain you can purchase that's mass produced on the market. And it, it beats the Steel RS, it beats the Oregon EXL, it beats everything. It beats the Steel Hexa chain. It beats everything. The fastest 3 8 chain on the market that you can purchase without it being some special order BS, all right, is the Husqvarna C83 X cut or C85. The difference between C83 and C85 is uh, 83 is 050 gauge, 85 is 058. So that's the only difference. Um, so yeah, that's the fastest chain you can get. However, it slows down uh, about 10% as soon as, maybe not quite that much. Now it's, it's 
yeah, it's about 10% because I did a test. It's on my, on my channel. You know, I tested all the chains side by side comparison and um, it's about 10% slower than uh, out of the box as soon as you file it because you just can't, you can't replicate the angles that they put in there uh, from the factory. If you, the only way to get, get close is to actually do a square grind. grind, grind. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's 20% faster than a steel RS. So that's kind of not fair. Uh, I need to put a more traditional chain on there and test it out and see how close the baby C was. So in fact, let me go do that. Okay, so this is an Oregon EXL out of the box. See how it does. people that would say I should have chosen a different saw to do this test with and you may be right um, this thing it doesn't have a whole lot of power really doesn't have a whole lot of RPMs either now, I've been struggling with the carburetor issue um, so you know I don't know maybe it's affecting it or whatever but here's what I feel here's what I feel I feel like the baby C that I made is slow cuts really slow that's what i feel like um but i do feel like it is a lot easier on the saw those teeth uh that cutting it it seems it, it just seems like it's uh more like a 325 chain or a 38 slow profile chain you know i also feel like maybe i should take the rakers down further uh, but I've already got that thing. My, my little, my little depth gauge is worn out really bad. So on the setting of hardwood, it's the same, it's the same depth as the setting for pine. So I got it set up for softwood really. Um, uh, both this and the Husqvarna chain put more of a load on the chainsaw. However, the Husqvarna chain did not put as much load. This right here feels like it's really bogging down the saw. Would have been a better comparison probably to, to have a saw that had no power issues, but I didn't know I was gonna have the power issues with this. I thought it was gonna run good. Um, and you know, at this point, I think that I've, I think that I've fixed it. Uh, I had, uh, seemed what you know i thought i had spark issues but then every time i let it sit like it's ran and it run good right but then i let it sit and it wants to like flood out on me it seems as though and so all the vents and everything like that are good i think that uh, the the uh, carburetor might have been leaking through the welch plug that's what somebody suggested to me and so I just covered it with uh, JB Weld. And I also, this has like a little accelerator pump with the, like a little BB in there that's spring loaded. And I pushed on that a little bit and maybe it cleaned it out a little bit. I'm not sure. We'll have to let this sit now for about 15 or 20 minutes and see if it restarts um, without any issues. 
before I claim that I fixed it. Once I claim that I fixed it, then I can do the other things like go ahead and do a muffler mod, possibly pour and polish it, possibly put a bigger carb. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Possibly leave it exactly the way it is. I don't know, I don't know. As it is, I've got $50 plus a spark plug into this saw. So hopefully I can keep it under 60 bucks and it'd be a good running saw. We'll see. Oh, I did put the new chain on here, but that's, I mean, that's just because of this test. That other chain, uh, you know, I, with the one that I made the baby C out of, it, it's still fine. It would have sharpened up fine uh, had I used a regular 3 8 file. Uh, but as it is, I'm doing this test. and So there you have it. Let's see if it restarts now. stock form I'm like I ain't that impressed <laughs> all right anyways baby C so far I got a lot to learn on that and go further is it ever going to be as good as a C83 I'll be honest I have my doubts I I don't know I mean I'd love to get one that bucking has done you know, for me so that I can actually test it because he's so much better at sharpening a chain than I am. <laughs> and I'll probably never get to that level. As it is, if I can get it as fast as it, the, as it is out of the box, then I'm happy. And so far, I've yet to see anybody get uh, uh, anything as fast as a C83 out of the box. I know it can be done, but I'm talking about just with regular filing and stuff. Um, anyways. Alright, playing in the woods is supposed to be getting me some chains, but the communication is kind of wonky. 